Ace here and Johnny and Mocha. Mocha the dog. That's you, right. You want to see a neat trick? Watch this. <laughs> when you put the hood on the dog, she yeah. freezes. Most of the time. Most of the time. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't move. Scared as crap. But funny. Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Doesn't even know that I'm holding an empty bottle of beer. <laughs> so. Speaking of beers, we got a special one tonight. One that we meant to drink last year, but we didn't because so many other beers came before it. What beer is that, Johnny? Uh, Terrapin. Ter <laughs> it's one from Nogneu and Terrapin. Oh, okay. Which is their Imperial Rye Porter. Why didn't we drink it last year? I don't know. Okay. We meant to a lot of times. We, we did? Had, yeah, remember we had it in the list and it just got bumped or we got crunked before we Could had a been. chance to drink it. Could have been. But these guys, this was brewed at the Nogneu plant in Grimstad, Norway, EU. And it is made with Grimstad water. That's right. Which is like awesome water. If you've ever had it, <laughs> you would know. If not, you should try it. It's just like tasty. He's never had it. Anyway, this is an English porter. It was brewed one time. Bastard. And um, tell them about the ingredients and stuff while I open this. Sure. Well, it uses an English ale yeast Ooh, and nice rye. It was brewed by the head brewers of Terrapin in Nogenu. It is ABV of 9% and IBUs of 45, which DJ here found that it was on the bottle. Yes. Oh, looky look that. that. Looky, nice. looky. So, I think the head brewer of Terrapin's name is Spike, and the other one is like Kinja or something. I can't pronounce his name. But he's got a big old beard with uh, like ponytails on his beard. So, anyways, that's what I remember from seeing him on YouTube. Wow. Okay, now I've had the Nogneu Porter, which was really good. I haven't had this for... for <laughs> It must be good because Johnny's... I already looked at it, smelled it, and now I'm drinking it. He's having that. He hasn't told you it's brewed with rye and malts and all that I kind of stuff. I did, too. Oh, did you? Yeah. I wasn't You're listening. I was, I was busy pouring. So let's take a look at this one. Um, oh, that was wimpy. Wimpy, wimpy. Yeah. Almost no light coming through this. A little bit of red. Uh, hints, a little ruby garnet stuff going on down the bottom of the pokal here. We got about a quarter finger ahead. Dark khaki bubbles, little soap suds at the top when I swirl it. Instant glass lacing, tons of alcohol. It's real coating on the inside of that glass. Really nice looking beer. It's the best looking porter we've seen tonight. Let's see. First the chocolate flavors, very uh, uh, toffee. The aromas. Toffee, <laughs> stuff like that. He's on the flavors, so I'll go in reverse. I'll go aroma. Coffee, toffee, a bit of the rye spice. I just said that. I don't smell a Reuben. No, we don't smell Reuben, but really nice. It's it's the biggest smelling porter we've had, and I get a lot of chocolate and a lot of, like, dark chocolate. You taste, mm. you know, roasted, uh, almost a roasted coffee with a little bit of almond. I'm tasting a little bit of almond nut, chocolate, coconut. I'm getting vanilla mm. flavors. Mm. It's very tasty, but almost like... Almost a smokiness to this that. Hmm. I wonder you know, if that's the rye that's doing it. Could be. I mean, it, it, I'm not. I'm not picking up fully on the rye. Mm -hmm. It it's there late in the aftertaste that you get this rye taste. Uh, I get I get a lot of dark chocolate. I get like a bit of spiciness and the smokiness. I know the spiciness is coming from the rye. A little tiny bit of like raisin flavor, caramel and toffee, but this is a real. This is almost more like an export stout, really, in some ways than a porter. It's big. It's got a. It's got a high roast level in it too, like a dark roasted grain level. I wonder if it has. What else, grain wise? Because it. It's got a good. Good mouthfeel, but not a big, coated mouthfeel. It, it's. It's a medium, body, I believe. I'm tasting the rye now. Well, they're saying they're using malted, let's see, Grimstad water, malted rye, malted barley, hops. And if you've ever had English, that Grimstad water, awesome. And English ale yeast. And that's it. Yeah. It's a I, real simple, straightforward porter, but... But, uh, I mean, mm. it's got... I, I taste the rye in the aftertaste, definitely. How many... We've had, th what, three English porters tonight, right? Three or four or something. This like is that. the third one, isn't it? Is it third? What was the smoked? 
That was an American Porter. American Porter. And then what do we? What we had we had the, the uh, Green Man. The Green Man. That was English yeah. Porter. The Engle- and the oil, Harveston. The oil. Yeah. This is this is better than the oh, Harveston yeah. oh, and the is, Green Man by far. Tops. It's different than the the Captain Lawrence. Right. Tonight's been I guess Porter night, right? But yeah. they've all been a little bit different. Mm-hmm. This is real tasty. Really big flavors in this. And it's, it's not as thin as the Captain Lauren. No, it's still got the um. Mouth, yeah. It's it's got a nice medium, medium mouth, mouth feel to it, but it still has enough carbonation that it's like palate cleansing. Yeah. And the aftertaste I'm getting is kind of like roasted malt bitterness. I get the rye. He's it's getting like, the rye. Uh, it's like eating mm-hmm. rye bread. Really tasty beer. I like this. It's very good. I guess maybe it tasted like this a year, but we kind of like didn't drink it then. So, so hey, so fresh, so fresh the. The, the boys over at Rate Beer gave it a 99. Mm-hmm. And the uh, dudes over at Beer Advocate gave it a 91. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hmm. This is a tough one. I mean, it's got a year on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like it. Um, it's not a 99. No. Is it a 91? Well, while you're thinking, I, I like it a lot. I like the flavors in it. And as English porters go, it's got the mouthfeel. It's real. It's got a lot of, like, two-style things that are, that are about, like, the, the carbonation level. The mouth feels a little bit better, like I like. I'm going to give it a 93, I think. It's an A- minus still, but it's a, I think it's a really tasty beer. I enjoy it, and I like that aftertaste. Now the more I drink it, I get more of that rye. Mm-hmm. Taste that in the aftertaste. The thing I like is it's as advertised. It says rye porter i'm an english porter and it's as advertised and because i've drank the other one i know what the other one tastes like and this is a an enhanced version of that and the nine percent alcohol you don't totally hidden totally you know after listening to your diatribe i'm gonna have to say it's going to be a, a 93 93 yeah 93 i mean I was looking at 90, 91, but, you know, it does have all the aspects that I've been looking for in a, in a porter. Mm-hmm. Not as thin. It's got great mouthfeel. It's got great flavors, complexity. I mean, I you know, I was tasting coconut and almonds and all this crap. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I like it. I'm going to, like I said, 93. Definitely, definitely a beer. And we're going to drink it again, too, because I found another bottle oh, when I was uh, cleaning stuff out the other day. <laughs> That's what hoarding does. <laughs> but... Really tasty beer. If you guys can find this, I recommend you drink it in it. It only brewed once. Maybe they'll brew it again, but the closest thing to this that doesn't have the rye in it is the, the Nogne'u Porter. That's pretty close to this, but it, this is this is an enhanced version of that. So we're both giving it um, A- minus today. <laughs> Johnny's freezing like the dog did. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just <laughs> See, that sneeze means he's thinking globally and he's drinking locally and supporting the craft beer movement. That's right. So, thanks a million to each and every one of you guys that are watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, please sub up. Hit that like button. You know what to do. Leave comments. If you have this, let us know. If there are any other ryes out there besides Wooly Jack and this. Wookie Jack, yeah. Wookie, Wookie, not Wooly. Your hat's Wooly. No, Wookie is the dude on yeah, Chewbacca. That's but it's that's Wooly. my dog. Wookie. No, but it's Wookie Jack. It's Wooly it? Jack. No, it's not. We'll look on on the break. You'll see. It's Wookie Jack. It's Wookie Jack, isn't it, guys? You know, you know. He doesn't know. It's it's a, it's a Rye IPA by Firestone Walker. I don't remember the ABV, but anyways, in their uh, Walker Reserve series, which I think they may have dropped. No, they dropped the porter out. I think the Reserve Porter. I didn't see that on this year's list form. But anyways, guys, like I say, if you've had this before, let us know. We like the quid pro quo. You know the deal. Look, he's looking. He's looking. Okay, Jack, Firestone, he's typing it in. Is he going to find it? Is the beer geek going to win? Damn. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that's right. You don't mess with the beer geek when you're talking about useless information about beer. When did they call it Wookie Jack? I always called it Wooly Jack. I know you did. <laughs> Till next time, guys, this hikes again, and that's a big peace out.